mtazamaji kundi la kwanza la maafisa wa afya mashinani ukipenda ukipenda CHPS ambao ni 400 wamekamilisha mafunzo ya msingi ya kuboresha afya ya kinywa iliyozunduliwa wakati wa maadhimisho ya siku ya afya ya kinywa duniani mwaka huu ambayo iliadhimishwa katika uwanja wa Ndumbiri kaunti ya Kiambu mpango wa mafunzo ya maafisa hao iliyowezeshwa na chama cha kitaifa cha kushughulikia masuala ya meno kipenda KDA kwa ushirikiano na kampuni ya Mars Rigli na washirika wengine iliwapa maafisa hao ujuzi na maarifa muhimu ili hukuza afya ya kinywa katika jamii zao kupitia mafunzo hayo KDA na Mars Rigli walisisitiza umuhimu wa kujenga uwezo wa maafisa ya afya maafisa wa afya katika jamii kutambua jukumu muhimu wanalofanya ili kuendeleza mipango ya afya mashinani maafisa hawa wapya waliofuzu watasaidia kukuza afya ya kinywa katika jamii in Kenya oral health survey 2015 revealed that 98.1% 1% of the adult disease gum disease while 46.3% of age 5 years old with dental caries this country is also seeing a rising burden of dental fluorosis with 41.4% of the children being affected this prevalence is expected to have risen with the increased consumption of ground water from the boreholes and due to our purpose at Mars Rigli is to inspire moments of everyday happiness and this goes hand in hand with the oral health mandate of a happy mouth is a happy body not to forget that today we also celebrate international happiness day and this is also very important for us at uh, Mars Rigli so we have to prioritize our oral health for overall well-being and happiness it is really easy simple habits like brushing flossing and chewing sugar free gum can significantly improve your oral health well-being naomba ya kuwa mambo ya madaktari yashughulikiwe so that we can train uh, more dentists sasa tumetoka NHIF tunaenda SHIF na hatuwezi train hawa watu wote and we plan to go to the entire country and we don't have a benefits package for dental services it is important that the benefits package for dental services is comprehensive uh, focusing on preventive and promotive health uh, so that we are able to reduce the people who are getting to the curative side of oral health.